genetic line of modern human males to a theoretical most recent common ancestor who lived about 142,000 years ago in Africa. This ancient ancestor is popularly known as Y-chromosomal Adam. Just as male lineages can be traced through the Y-chromosome, matrilineal or female lineages can be traced through mitochondrial DNA, which is abbreviated mtDNA. All human cells contain organelles called mitochondria. Mitochondria are involved in the production of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. ATP is a chemical power source for our cells. Mitochondria contain their own DNA. Mitochondrial DNA is inherited solely through the lineage of the mother. Geneticists have been able to sequence the mitochondrial DNA and use the resulting information to trace the human female lines of genetic inheritance. Just as in the case of the Y chromosome DNA for the patrilineal line, mitochondrial DNA mutations or genetic markers have allowed scientists to trace our common ancestry back to our matrilineal most recent common ancestor who lived around 200,000 years ago in Eastern Africa. She is popularly known as mitochondrial Eve. The genetic placement of Y chromosomal Adam and mitochondrial Eve in Eastern Africa between 200,000 years ago and 140,000 years ago is in accordance with the fossil evidence which finds the oldest Homo sapien fossils dated at 195,000 years ago in Eastern Africa. Both paleoanthropological data and genetic data support the out-of-Africa theory for the origin of the modern human population. Let's now take a look at how scientists involved in evolutionary genetics have used genetic markers to map the spread of Homo sapiens out of Africa. One of the first things we want to do is define a term we will be using as we move forward. That term is haplogroup. A haplogroup can be thought of as an ancestral clan that shares a common ancestor. There are Y chromosome haplogroups for the patrilineal line and mitochondrial DNA haplogroups for the matrilineal line. These haplogroups are designated by their genetic markers. The genetic markers or mutations that define a haplogroup or clan are called single nucleotide polymorphisms, abbreviated to the acronym SNP, which is pronounced SNP. A single nucleotide polymorphism is a variation in the DNA sequence of an individual created when a single nucleotide in a section of the DNA sequence is altered or mutates. Back in Chapter 3, we noted that there are four nucleotides which encode for DNA, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. A single nucleotide polymorphism might occur when the nucleotide cytosine is replaced with the nucleotide thymine in a section of the DNA sequence of an individual. For example, if one individual had a DNA sequence in a given block that read A, T, T, C, C, T, A, T, C, G, and a second individual had a DNA sequence in the same block which read A, T, T, C, 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 A, T, C, G, this difference in the DNA sequence of the two individuals would represent a single nucleotide polymorphism or variation in the DNA sequence. These single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs are used to define haplogroups or clads as they are sometimes called. In the modern human population, the most ancestral or base haplogroup of the patrilineal line is designated haplogroup A, Y, DNA. Haplogroups are designated by the letters A through T in the Y chromosome line. The haplogroups are further subdivided through the addition of numbers and letters, example being the haplogroup R1B. The genetic mutations or SNPs that define haplogroup A would be found in the earliest descendants of Y chromosomal atom. Haplogroup A is largely found in Africa. It is found in the highest modern frequencies among the Khoisan people, such as the San Bushmen. Genetically speaking, this makes the San Bushman one of the oldest living representatives on the Homo sapiens family tree. Let's take a look at the diagram of the evolutionary tree of the haplogroups that comprise the Y chromosome family tree. Farthest back in time, we would find haplogroup A in Africa represented today by the Khoisan people. We would also find haplogroup B represented by the Pygmies and the Hadzabi peoples in Africa. The CT haplogroup comprises the haplogroups or subclads C through T, which occur largely outside of Africa. Men in the CT haplogroup all have Y chromosomes with the M168 single nucleotide polymorphism or mutation. 
Haplogroups A and B, which are basically African, do not have the M168 mutation. The significance of the CT haplogroup and its M168 marker is that the CT haplogroup gave rise to all the male lines outside of Africa. The ancient ancestor of this line is sometimes called Eurasian Adam as it was his sons that migrated out of Africa to populate the rest of the world. The M168 mutation or SNP M168 is thought to have arisen around 68,000 years ago in Africa around the time the modern human population began migrating out of Africa. Genetics are derivative from parent to child. The Y chromosome passes from father to son down through time. Y chromosomal Adam appears 142,000 years ago. His sons eventually give rise to Eurasian Adam who first displays the mutation M168 or the SNP M168 around 68,000 years ago. The sons of the Eurasian Adam begin the migration out of Africa to populate the rest of the world. The M168 mutation is strong genetic evidence that the modern human male population originated in Africa. Let's now look at the mitochondrial DNA evidence on the matrilineal side in support of the out of Africa theory. If we look at this diagram of the mitochondrial haplogroups, we can see that the oldest mitochondrial haplogroup is L. Mitochondrial haplogroups are designated using the letters A through Z, similar to the Y chromosome haplogroups. The mitochondrial haplogroups, however, are named in the order of discovery. They therefore don't line up chronologically in time. For example, the haplogroup of mitochondrial Eve is designated haplogroup L and is thought to have originated around 200,000 years ago in Africa, whereas the mitochondrial haplogroup A is largely found from Eastern Asia into the Americas. Mitochondrial haplogroup A is believed to have originated in Eastern Siberia roughly 40,000 years ago. One of the deepest ancestries among peoples living today of the mitochondrial haplogroup L would be the Khoisan people, such as the San Bushmen of Africa. An important subclad of the mitochondrial haplogroup L is the haplogroup L3. The mitochondrial haplogroup L3 is believed to have appeared in Eastern Africa roughly 90,000 years ago prior to the out of Africa migration. All mitochondrial haplogroups outside of Africa are derived from the L3 haplogroup. Another indication of the origins of the modern human population in Africa in support of the out of Africa theory. No doubt the genetic aspect of the out of Africa theory can be somewhat complex. But the takeaway from all we have discussed is that the modern human population originated in Africa roughly 200,000 years ago. Around 70,000 to 60,000 years ago, a small group of that population began migrating out of Africa. It is thought that this migration started from the present-day country of Djibouti on the Horn of Africa and moved across the Bab el Mandeb or Mandeb Strait into present-day Yemen. These modern human migrants spread along the coast of the Arabian Peninsula around to present-day India, reaching Australia roughly 50,000 years ago. Over some 60,000 years since our ancient ancestors first made the trip across the Bab el Mandeb into the Arabian Peninsula, our species, Homo sapiens, has spread across the face of the earth and begun to take our initial steps onto the neighboring bodies of the solar system, a spectacular achievement by any measurement. In chapter 10, we will delve deeper into the spread of Homo sapiens out of Africa and to the rest of the world.